ago, uh, six days ago, there was a protest here. Didn't go too well. Uh, somebody drove over somebody's foot. People were antagonized by, by uh, white agitators that were coming in from the outside. And so it seems like the response would be to back down or to, to stop doing protests in Stillwater. However, let's let Stillwater know that the police will be held accountable. The white community must start speaking to the white community and that this isn't just a conversation. This is a lifetime of work, okay? Stillwater is just as bad for like Egan is horrible. Yeah, fuck Egan. All these cities are racist, and they're keep they want us. They're pushing us into the suburbs. Us black people, we're not safe there. But then we come to the city. We have horrible schooling. We're not safe there either. Like, where are we going to be safe? And I want to make sure that we know what we're fighting against, right? Because white supremacy is a tool that our structure uses, which is a capitalist system, right? So we gotta make sure that we understand that we're not just fighting white supremacy, we're fighting the capitalist system. I am tired of trying to assimilate to white culture just to feel safe. And that when I do everything that I can and I have to suppress everything that I feel, I'm tired of still being accused of being some kind of savage animal just because of the color of my skin. And every system that is built on racism with racist white supremacy ideas is, should be fucking abolished. Fuck ICE, fuck DHS, fuck the police system, fuck white supremacy. I'm fucking tired. Enough is enough. 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 Yo, hey, hey, ho, ho. These racist cops have got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. These racist cops have got to go. When trans lives all under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! When Asian lives are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! When streets, all streets, our streets, all streets, our streets, all streets, our streets, all streets, our streets, all streets. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! As sad as it is, white people listen to white people, and if it takes a white person's taking what I'm saying, reiterating it to another white person to make them understand, then you need to do it. Like, it doesn't have to be some rant or some argument or yelling and screaming at somebody. Just confront it, tell them to check their privilege, check their white fragility, and plant that seed. Leave them wondering, second-guessing themselves, second-guessing their behavior, and contemplating it, self-reflection. It's hard to be, to be alone, to feel like there's no one like you, uh, because I think Johnny might have said it earlier, but I'm tired of assimilating. I'm tired of not being long enough. I'm not tired of being. I'm tired of not being Indian enough. I'm tired of not being white enough to fit in. All right. Uh, childhood, Apu, Indian accents. I'm tired of hearing about in schools from my classmates, but the people I call friends, my my chosen family. I'm tired of hearing that. All right. I'm tired of being the model minority. I'm tired of the Asian jokes. I don't care that I'm good at math. That doesn't excuse your idiocy. <laughs> When cops roll up with thin blue line masks and thinks it's okay, that's a problem. When white people feel that their lunch or their beer getting disturbed by a march is bigger than Black Lives Matter, that's a fucking problem. Just because your mimosa has been inconvenienced doesn't mean somebody's gonna kneel on your neck for eight minutes. White people in Stillwater, I'm charging you to speak to white people around Stillwater. Make that conversation happen. Make that recognition happen. Make that check happen. Do it now and do not wait. Do it now and do not wait. All right, I want everyone to put their right fists up. Repeat after me. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our 